Hello student, today lecture 10, topic name, contents and task of radiation hygiene, the modern problem, the mechanism of influence of ionizing radiation of human organism, source of ionizing radiation, characteristic of external and internal radiation, measures of protection using of ionizing radiation in medicine. It's the dose that makes a person. Paracelsus state some for century ago. The positive medical use of ionizing radiation are well known, but in excess radiation is determined to health. Radiation hygiene, science, study condition, types and consequence of the influence of ionizing radiation on person and development action directed on guard of health of the population and surrounding ambience. Radiation is energy that comes from a source and travels through some material or through space. Ionizing radiation is produced by unstable atom. Unstable atom differ from stable atom because of an excess of energy or mass or both. Unstable atom are said to be radioactive in order to reach stability. This atom give off or emit the excess energy or mass. This emission of cold radiation when the radiation interacts with other atoms is also the atoms altering their chemical property hence ionizing radiation. The term ionizing radiation is the frequency electromagnetic waves such as gamma radiation and Rengen X-rays or particles as alpha and beta particles. Main problem and task radiation hygiene. The study mechanism and regularities of the influence of organism and health of the person, different type of ionism radiation, discovering you and little now effect of the influence to radiation, the study of the condition of labor and health of the person, the improvement of the metric sanitary dosimetric checking, the improvement of the measures on quartz surrounding ambience from radioactive contamination, the forecasting to possible danger for personal and population and preventive action. Units of radiation, RAD, REM, Becquerel, Ray, Zivert, Curie, Rad. The unit of absorbed dose of radiation, one Rad equal one bell. It's equivalent to one atom decaying per second. The amount of damage caused by this radioactivity depends on a number of factors, especially the radiation type and the actual dose. REM. This unit allows for the greater or lesser biological damage produced by various types of ionizing radiation. Ringen, the unit of measuring the quantity of gamma ionizing radiation. Zivit, the unit of measuring of effective dose. Curie, the quantity of radiation produced by one gram of radium is one second. The main notion used in radiation hygiene. Radioactivity, isotope, radioactive factor, radiation, radioecology, Rengen, and others. Isotope. Different from a single element having the same number of protons, positive change particles, in the nucleus and has the same number of electrons which are negatively changed particles, but different in the number of neutrons in the nucleus. Unstable isotopes are said to decay when they emit radiation or particles. The half-life of an isotope, which may vary from second to century, is the time it takes for half of the remaining energy of decay to be emitted. What is radiation? Radiation energy propagated through space or matter in the form of waves on panicles. Radioactivity. The emission of radiation due to a spontaneous rearrangement of the nucleus of an atom. Radiology, the use of radiant energy 
in the diagnosis and treatment of disease. Rengen is the quantity of X-ray or gamma radiation producing ions that carry a one electrostatic unit of electricity or either positive or negative change in one millimeter of dry air. Radioecology. Study of effect of radiation on species of plants and animals in natural community. Qualitative characteristic of ionizing radiation are doses. Absorbed, exposure, equivalent, effective. Absorbed dose, the amount of ionizing radiation energy which transmitted to the substance. Exposure dose, the amount of radiation to which sensitive body tissue may be such exposed over given periods of time. Effective dose is the dose of hypothetical instant exposure of the body which may cause biological effect. It is a measure of the cancer risk to a whole organism die to ionizing radiation, delivered non uniformly to parts of its body. It takes into account both the type of radiation and the nature of each organ being irradiated. Equivalent dose is a computed average measure of a radiation absorbed by a fixed mass of biological tissue that attempts to account for the different biological damage, potential of different types of ionizing radiation. The National Council on Radiation Protection and Measurement recommends that cumulative exposure not exceed 5 rems. Multiplied by number of years, our age 18 for workers in jobs that expose them to energy of radiation. The National Council on Radiation Protection recommended no more than 10% of such exposure for the general public. However, it must be remembered that no amount of radiation exposure can be considered totally innocuous. The developing fetus in the arteries in most sensitive, and there is still scientific debate as to just where the risk of cancer later in life begins to increase. Exposure to 100 rems over a short period produced change in the blood and bone marrow in a small percentage of people. At 200 rems, most will show such change, and if you will, die. Radiation background. There are different natural and artificial sources of radiation. Natural. Ionizing radiation is a natural part of the environment. Life has been exposed to radiation since it first appeared on Earth. The principal source of ionizing radiation originates in the terrestrial environment. The radioactive substance in the soil, rock, water, and air, and from cosmic source. Natural radiation varies significantly from one part of the Earth to another, depending principally on factors such as the latidium and geological makeup of an area. With one exception, all natural sources provide an essentially unvarying exposure in any given geological location. Cosmic rays, because of different explosion processes, Outposts of the new stars and a result of sun activity and its outburst. A primary cosmic radiation interaction with atmosphere layer. The result of that interaction is a formation of different radio elements. 92 person proton, 7 person particle, 0.78 person nucleus of oxygen and nitrogen. Atmospheric radiation. 25% of natural background is a result of unique radioactive element in medicine. Isotopes form the natural radiation background in environment. Kali-14, oxygen-14, uranium-238, uranium-236, radium-226. 
natural radiation of soil, foods, water. In the water of the seas and ocean, more than 50 different radio elements. But at different areas in the world, with high concentration of radioactive elements, as Parin, Pamir Mountains area, Tibet and Kerala, state in India, with high concentration of thorium. Artificial source of radiation. 30% is a technical background, technical man activity, as a lead 210, Radon 222, Toron 220. Artificial source of radiation result of nuclear weapons experiments, radioactive element of mains and artificial radionuclides. The main isotope and indicator of artificial radioactivity in the environment. Yodid 90, Cesium 137, Stronzi 90, established a laboratory which work with and using different radio. The exception is the radioactive gas radon, which is released to the atmosphere from uranium bearing rock. The emission of this gas, apart from diurnal and seasonal variation, does not vary over time, except when the terrestrial structure is disturbed. For example, meaning or earthquakes. Over the past two decades, how we are building our such radon releasing rock have tended to acquire a higher concentration of radon as a result of reduction in the ventilation rate deceased to conserve energy is therefore useful in considering the natural radiation background environment to distinguish between radon and other source of ionizing radiation to which life has been exposed at an almost constant rate our ions. While variation in exposure to radon may vary by our several orders of magnitude from one geographical location to another, exposure to other source commonly varies by a factor of two to three and exceptionally by an order of magnitude. Human beings have increased exposure to radiation from the environment through a number of activities, including meaning using products with high natural radioactivity, such as phosphate fertilizer, burning fossil fuels and extracting water from deep wells, as well as testing nuclear weapons, generating nuclear power, and using radiation and radioactive materials in medicine, industry, and research. In general, the extent of the increased environmental exposure from all this activity in within the range of geographical variation commonly found in exposure to a non-radon source of natural background radiation and as such can be regarded as unexceptional in terms of the risk of extra disease that might occur. Some exceptions, however, need careful consideration. This AIC primary from source for which no analogic exposure occurs in the natural environment, particularly certain radionuclides that are easy, extremely rare, or non-existent naturally, and that concentrate in parts of human body or are located in a specially sensitive organ. The harmful effect produced on body tissue by exposure to radioactive substance. The biological action of radiation is not fully understood, but is barely a disturbance in cellular activity result from the chemical change ionization. Some body tissue are more sensitive to radiation than others are more easily affected. The cell in the blood forming tissue, bone marrow, spleen, and lymph nodes are extremely sensitive. Low doses and dose rates do not produce this acute early effect because the available cellular repair mechanisms are able to compensate for the damage. First stage, interaction between the ionizing radiation and the body fluid, the result of that interaction is outlet of toxic 
radicals, hydrogen peroxide, present of oxygen stimulate this process. Second stage, interaction between the channels of radiation, the radicals, and the dissolved element in the cells, as protein, carbohydrates, and fats. The result are oxidation and decomposition of these elements and decrease the amount of amino acids in the cell. And third stage, disturbance of the metabolism, dysfunction of internal organ, and maybe pathological change. Ionizing radiation causes two kinds of biological effects, deterministic and stochastic. Deterministic effect, somatic, result from a loss of biological function. Normally, this become apparent shortly after exposure, within a risk, increase in severity with increasing dose, and are easy insignificant or absent below a threshold of dose, about 0.5 zero. Biological change include degenerative change in the tissue, acute radiation syndrome, may be this. Stochastic effect is one in which the probability of the effect rather than its severity increase with radiation dose. Stochastic effect result from change in the genetic makeup of cells. It may cause cancer, teratogenic effect, and others. Owing to the threshold, limiting doses can usually prevent deterministic effect. Example of deterministic effect are the depression of the blood forming tissue, skin damage, and the induction of opacities in the lens of the eyes, cataract. Only in very exception causes, such as accidents, to deterministic effect occur as a result of exposure to environmental source of ionizing radiation. Even in such circumstances, very few people are likely to receive doses high enough to exceed the threshold for effects. For this reason, deterministic effects are not further discussed here. Acute radiation syndrome symptom, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, bone marrow failure in critical period with fever and otopharyngeal ulceration. Massive dose of gamma rays may cause this in two hours or days. Chronic exposure of radiation symptom, cancer, mutation of chromosomes, skin lesion, things of erythema over the area of exposure, late complication is a trophy of the skin, and later hyperkeratoma. With the assumption of no threshold, limited dose cannot eliminate stochastic effect, but the probability of an effect occurring can be kept at tolerable or acceptable level. At low doses, stochastic effects are assumed to be induced in direct proportion to dose. The principal risk is of cancer. Radiation can induce a wide range of type of cancer and the following generalization can be made. In general, radiation-induced cancer occurs only in the tissue exposed to radiation. Radiation-induced cancer is currently indistinguishable in its histopathology from the spontaneously occurring disease. The latency period for the occurrence of cancer range from two years for leukemia to more than 40 years. Sensitivity varies from issue to tissue and with age, sex, and genetic condition. In addition, it's recognized that irradiation of the GAN cells may lead to hereditary disease in future generations. Study on the population exposed to the atomic bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki have not identified statistically high frequencies of genetic disorders. Also, experimental study on plants and animals have indicated that such effect can occur. Garden reported an increased risk of leukemia in the offspring of certain radiation workers, but whether there is a causal relationship is still answered. The main complication, infection, hemorrhage, depression of immune system, septemia. Critical group, people exposed to ionizing radiation from environmental source are thus primarily at risk of cancer, which has to be seen 
against a relatively high spontaneous incidence. Cancer accounts for 20-25% of all this. It is assumed that exposure to natural background radiation may cause a proportion 5-10% of this, this. An important consequence of this is that one cannot definitely attribute and one cause of disease to exposure to radiation. It's only possible to estimate the probability that this is so. Risk usually expressed in terms of the causes of cancer expected in a specific number of people exposed to unit of dose, in addition to the naturally occurring causes. In addition to such absolute risk, one can assess relative risk, which indicates the excess risk from radiation relative to the baseline risk. Science you study exam and expose population through life, the lifetime risk is usually obtained by projected the frequency of cancer indication obtained for the period of observation to the lifetime of the exposed population. Part of population which they receive or may receive higher level dosage of radiation from the source because of free sex, age, social professional situation, situation in their territory. In relation to the effect of radiation, the population usually divided into following category A, B, and C. A. Medical personnel and different workers who have a direct contact with the ionizing source. 20 millisievert one year at any consecutive five years and not more than 50 millisievert per year. Category B. All personnel who have no direct contact with ionizing radiation source, as clinic woman in X-ray cabinet, and those who live near that area source. Category C: All population and the personnel out of the work, one microsievert one year at any consecutive five years, and not more than five microsievert per year. The type of radiation. Electromagnetic radiation, X-ray, X-ray, gamma rays, and corpuscular. Alpha, beta, protons, neutron particles. When alpha or beta particles are emitted, the atom of one element actually convert to atom of another element. The emission of radiation from an unstable atom is called decay or disintegration. Each type of unstable atom has a known half-life, which represents the length of time required for half the atom to decay to emit radiation. Examples of half-life are as follows. Uranium, 238, 4.5 billion year. Plutonium, 239, 24,390 year. Cesium 137, 30 years, strontium 29 years, iodine 8.5 days, radon 3.8 days. Physical characteristic of alpha, beta, gamma radiation. Alpha radiation and alpha particles is a heavy particle, actually a helium nucleus, with a change of two which gives up energy a short distance, mostly through ionization. It's not very penetrating and is easily shielded against when the source is external to the body. For instance, alpha radiation cannot penetrate in the skin surface. However, when particles emitting alpha radiation are inhaled or ingested, they can ionize atoms in living cells leading to significant damage. The distance of movement in the air from the source is 15 cm. Penetrating ability is 3-5 mm. Beta radiation. This radiation is the result of the emission of electrons from the nucleus. Electrons are smaller and lighter than alpha particles and also pose a hazard if the source is inhaled or ingested. 
Compared to alpha radiation, it has a high penetration, depending on energy and density of the material, but has a low rate of ionization than alpha radiation. Usually, better radiation is shielded against by using plastic or light metals because it can produce gamma radiation when passing through lead, which is often used for shielding against radiation. The distance of movement in the air from the source is 17 meta. Penetrating ability is 1 centimeter. Gamma radiation. This radiation is a form of electromagnetic energy emitted from the muscles, often together this emission of beta particles. This electromagnetic radiation with high energy and frequency can penetrate it relatively easy that has a low rate of ionization. Both internal and external cells can pose a hazard. For example, X-rays are machine-made gamma rays. Where is cosmic rays are gamma rays from space. The distance of movement in the air from the source is more than 100 meta, has deep penetrating ability through a body. Next, neutron radiation. Free neutrons can be a form of radiation when they are released from the atomic nucleus. They can induce significant cell damage by ionizing radiation because the Heavy particles carries a high amount of energy. Material through which they pass may become radioactive, absorbed by nuclear of atoms in the material, which then become unstable and decay themselves. This is called neutron activation. There are two main sources of ionizing radiation, closed and open. Closed source of ionizing radiation the source non polluting environment and workplace at normal regime and cause external radiation. Open source of ionizing radiation, polluting the environment and the working environment at the operation and use and pose a risk of internal exposure of people. The open source are two groups elements and final elements. Elements which are used in different processes as in hospitals for treatment and cancer and for diagnostic manipulation, phenol element as a result of any process, mean an atomic electro station. There are two ways of irradiation, internal and external. Internal radiation is irradiation of the human body or some from ionizing source which be located in that body. External radiation is radiation of the body from external source. About 2.3 of effective dose may reside from natural radiation source with air, water, and foods, but the main amount of a dose from soil. The body receives 180 microsievert of Kali-40, potassium early. Potassium is an important biological element in the body of animals and plants. In the body of the man, about 130 grams of potassium. Effect of radiation, internal exposure on the body, depends on the time in the body, the physical characteristic of the element, type of radiation, the amount of radioactive material in the body. Protection method of internal radiation include quantity protection, distance protection from the source, time, and applied protective screen. Protection by quantity dose control the level of activity of ionizing agent. Protection from the source by distance. Fixed distance between the works and the source. The intensity of exposure varies inversely with the square of the distance from the source. Protection by time. Limiting the time of work with ionizing radiation. Protection by screen. Protection against alpha radiation by using just paper. 
protection against beta radiation using glass or aluminum 0.5 cm thickness. Protection against gamma radiation by using lead and concrete screen. Applied special screen, mobile universal box protection screen. Protection from irradiation using special protection rubber gloves, respirator, gas mask, personal protection, special cloths. In the building, there are three zones, zone A, B, and C, zone of radioactive element, and is the most polluted zone. The personnel are not allowed to enter this zone, for example, zone of the reactor or the atomic electric station, zone B, zone of overhaul, repairing, and for temporary storage of radioactive waste. Zone C, zone of personnel and workers, for example, cabinets, workshop, filters, canteens, and houses. The type of planning of the building for radiation source depends on the radioactivity of that element. There are four groups of radiotoxic elements. Periodic radiometric analysis, the level of radio pollution of the air, water and solid material applied. Method desactivation and daily individual dosimetric test also very important for protective from irradiation. Desactivation is the elimination or reduction of radioactivity, removal of radioactive substance and the products of their decomposition from environmental object. The means of decon decontamination, mechanical, absorb, solvent, cleanse, to form complex ionic exchange method, oxidant and alkali applied. For example, mechanical, applied vacuum pump and brush, cleanse, soap 30%, oxidant and alkali, solvent, kerosene, benzene and others. Protection method from external radiation include protection by quantity, protection from the source by distance, protection by time, and by screen. Today, radioactive material and source ionizing radiation using different various branch, atomic energy, different size, industrial enterprises, for example, metallurgical, petrochemical, chemical, military technical industries, medicine, biological, agricultural, food industry, and others. Ionizing radiation used in medicine for diagnostic proposed decrease and scanning, treatment, telegamma therapy, radiotherapy, scientific research, outer radiography, and others. The discovery of the X-rays was a German physician, Konrad Ringen, who was working with unknown rays in his laboratory. In 1895, he named them X-rays. The first radiograph was a picture of the bones in his wife's hand taken that same year. Marie Curie, working in Paris in the same period, discovered the radioactive element, polonium and radium. The letter, was found to emit a green light easily visible at night, as this property made it a novel effect. Initially, radium was thought to be hamelins, and radium salts were advocate for arteries and other rheumatic ailments. However, many of the early radiation workers died of radiation injury because of the type of X rays film available. In the early part of the century, radiologists held wire X-ray tubes next to patients being radiographed for periods as long as 15 minutes. Many of the radiologists developed radiation dermatitis or skin from skin cancer from this exposure. 
it was also discovered that radium or its emanation could attack tumors and one of the first use of this new element was an cancer therapy. Its rays are indispensable as a medical diagnostic tool certain types of surgery cannot be considered without the use of one or more diagnostic X-ray exam examination. The benefit to mankind in the treatment of disease revealed by diagnostic X-rays is immeasurable. However, this benefit does carry some risk. The doses from various types of X-ray examination differ and the repetition of certain examination of frequently unnecessary. In 1964 and 1970, the USA Public Health Service surveyed the population to determine the types of diagnostic examination conducted, the number of films per examination, and the estimates of the dose delivery. Dose was expressed as a genetically significant dose, meaning the dose delivered to the gonads within the lifetime of in both males and females. The data showed that the genetically significant dose decreased in the period between the two surveys. This was attributed, at least in part, to widespread program of physician education arm at dose reduction conducted in the intervening period by federal and professional agencies. The surveys demonstrate that simple adjustment of the diagnostic machine, such as proposal, Alignment or restriction of the X-ray beam to the size of a film were often not being performed properly. The educational program sought to correct this problem. In addition to educational program, Congress had the Food and Drug Administration the power to regulate the manufacturing of X-ray equipment. As a result of this regulation, put into force in August 1974. All new equipment has to meet certain additional safety standard of operation. However, by 1980, legislation had yet to be enacted that will require a minimum federal standard for the educational and training of radiological technology. Several states now require them to undergo a formal two year training program. The American College of Radiology regularly conducts program to educate physicians on this risk from diagnostic procedure and the method by which way can be minimized. Dental X-rays also expose the patient to ionizing radiation. They should be employed only when special symptoms make X-ray diagnosis necessary. It's no longer generally accepted that the annual taking of radiographs or the teeth is necessary without special reason. Dental X-rays are generally taken in the dentist office and therefore precaution against the effect of radiation must be taken by the technician for himself as well as for the patient. The patient's body is covered with a lead upon to prevent the X-rays from penetrating. The technician usually stands behind a lead door or shield while throwing a switch to take the picture. In order to expect dental X-ray with a minimum of hazard to all patients concerned, government recommendations include the use of the fastest film and shortest exposure time. For the patient, radiographs should be made of the ancient set of teeth according to the patient's needs and age. A record of the patient's radiation history should be kept and special attention should be given to the patient who was radiographed at one office after another. Mammography. Mammography is a relatively new and important way to detect early breast cancer, but it too has a risk. Study of a bone series demonstrate that the young family breast may be more prone to breast cancer die to irradiation than the older family breast. Therefore, the dose delivered in mammography should be kept as low as possible. Special types of vacuum film pasc are available 
that substantially reduce the dose to the skin from mammography field. Personnel can be specially trained to further reduce the dose. Radiation therapy is a type of cancer treated that use beams of influence energy to kill cancer method most often use X-rays, but protons or other types of energy also can be used. The number of patients treated by radiation therapy is due than one percent of the number of patients who will have some sort of diagnostic X-ray examination during any given year. The use of radioactive material to treat tumors is nearly as old as the discovery of radiation itself. Early treatments involve inserting the radioactive material into a body cavity or into a space between tissue for set period of time. Radium is still used in many institutes, products gradually being replaced by other radioactive material such as cesium, iridium, and iodine 125. This substance emits radiation that are low in energy than those emitted by radium and can be handled with less exposure by medical personnel. The more familiar use of radiation therapy is teletherapy, in which the source of radiation is at some distance from the patient. The first widely available unit used cobalt 60 as an irritating material. These machines are still in use, but others, now as Accelera, have been developed for this purpose. This device uses strong electric fields to produce high energy rays. Radiation therapy does have some side effects, both transitory and long-lasting. Patients should discuss any fears about radiation with their doctor. In many causes, these fears may be unjustified. As an example, some patients fear that the result of this type of treatment will will transmit some of radiation that they receive to their family. This is not dry, but unspoken fears can only contribute to the disease problem. Nuclear medicine is radioactive material for both diagnosis and treatment. A nuclear medicine physician may be an internist, endocrinologist, or a radiologist. In nuclear medicine, Radioisotopes are used to label no radioactive compounds, so that they are tracked as they move through the body by the radiation emitted at the spot where the radioisotope is concentrated. One of the earliest compounds targeted with a radioactive label was sodium iodine, which was now to have a strong affinity for the thyroid gland. The normative iodine atom is replaced with a radioactive iodine atom, typically iodine 141. The patient is given the labeled compote and is taken up by the thyroid. At some later time, typically 24 hours, a sensitive radiation detector is placed on the thyroid gland to detect how much of the administered activity has been absorbed by the thyroid and how the activity is distributed in the gland. The test tells if all or part of the thyroid is functioning normally. By using a larger amount of radioactive iodine, thyroid tumors can be selectively destroyed. Never radioactive materials deliver a much smaller dose to the patient among the radioisotope now as technetium 99, which is used to detect cancer in the body. Yodin 141, however, is still used a treatment of thyroid cancer, hyperthyroidism, and Graz disease, both accompanied by building eyeballs. Because a nuclear medicine procedure may involve the injection of a compound containing the radioactive material, there is a possibility that the patient will return some of it for some time after protection of personnel and radiation safety of patients in radiological departments of hospital, different quantum 
and corpuscular irradiation are used for radiotherapy. Their sources are beta gamma radiating radioactive nucleus in the form of bar and seed source, X ray apparatus that are generators of quantum radiation of low and middle energies, beta trons and liner accelerators that generated inhibitory and corpuscular irradiation of high energies. Existing ways of radiotherapy are divided into two parts ways of teleirradiation and ways of contact irradiation. In the course of teleirradiation, source is located at considerable distance from patient, long distance irradiation, or at insignificant distance, short distance irradiation. In both causes, beams of irradiation is given necessary with an shape and direct interregion that is subject to irradiation. Contact irradiation include application ways when sealed source allocated on body surface that is irradiated by special devices, mask application. Intracavity when source irradiation is introduced into one of the body cavities and intraorganic when source of radiation is introduced directly into tissue of tumor. Variety of ways and method of radiotherapy is determined by necessity of full fulfillment of basic principle of radiotherapy, concentration of radiation energy in abnormally changed tissue, combined with maximum decrease of dose in surrounding tissue and the whole body. Radiation hazard for personnel of radiological department, patient that receive radiotherapy, person that can be in different premises and on territory that is adjacent to building depends the way of radiotherapy and technical ways for its conduction. Because of that a number of requirements started in building rules and norms and rules on work with radionuclease in established of Ministry of Public Health are made for allocation of radiological department of hospital, organization of radiation protection of personnel, and radiation safety of patient and population. Radiological department of hospital are usually located in one-story building with asymmetric block planning that provides isolated location of every organization department, department of teletherapy, department for treatment by seed source, department for treated by bio source, department laboratory of radioactive nucleate diagnostic. A very important dosimetric inspection. Dosimetric inspection, a set of measures to ensure the systematic measurement Recording and assessment of ionizing radiation doses received by the staff of enterprises, nuclear power station, X-ray cabinets, and also level of environmental contamination by radioactive substance. The main task of dosimetric survey. Control power gamma and neutron fluxes in the industrial premises. Control of the content of radioactive gases and aerosol in the working area. Dosimetric inspection of all types of work with radionuclides with mandatory evolution by using open source pollution degree of equipment, personal protective means and the body work. Individual monitoring by the individual instrument. Individual inspection of the content of radionuclides in the body or a separate critical organ. Training of staff of radiation safety rules for each type of work. Inspection of the size of the release of radionuclides into the atmosphere. Inspection of the accuracy of the collection and storage of radioactive waste. Keeping operational change journal, which is the main document on radiation situation at the object.
During working with cross source of radiation monitoring volume, limit power estimate doses in the workplace and individual external doses. Of the purpose of radiation monitoring equipment installed mainly stationary type, as well as portable instruments and personal monitoring dosimeter. For example, today very popular new individual dosimeter. Personal radiation monitor. Dosimeter a small device that can be worn on the belt, a lanyard, or arm band. It's a very rigid stand-alone device designed specifically to warn emergency response. Personal or any dangerous radiation field they may encounter. Electronic personal dosimeter is a compact and a lightweight pen type personal dosimeter. It is ideal for the measured and general monitoring of gamma and X-ray radiation in medical and laboratory environments, as well as any control or restricted area where personal radiation monitoring is required or desired. The universal multimeter L100 is designed for the PS evolution of a wide variety of X-ray machines, including standard, radiographic, fluoroscopic, portable, mammography, as well as dental and panoramic units. The automatic future of the L100 measure the peak KV, exposure time, and those output of the X-ray unit quickly and easily. Simply position the L100 so that it is located within the radiation beam of the X-ray unit. The display will show the measured of KF, exposure time, and dose of the X-ray equipment being evaluated. There is also an analog output which connect to an oscilloscope to view the voltage waveform. Next, alpha, beta, hand and foot monitor. A six detector instrument designed to survey the hands and shoes of personnel for alpha and beta contamination. Low cost, industrial dirty and ease of use makes the monitoring process easier. Radiation effect of the Chernobyl accident. The explosion and the subsequent fires at the Chernobyl reactor in April 1986 led to the discharge of the radioactive material which was carried faster than expected by airstream. The material precipitated with rain not only over the territory of Russia, but also over many countries in the Europe region. This Sweden, Italy, Poland, and other, other countries. The main components of the radioactive reliefs were cesium-137 and cesium-134, and to a much lesser extent, strontium-90. 120,000 people were evacuated in about 640 settlements with about 230,000 inhabitants an increased level of radiation was absurd that still required strict monitoring, especially food.
intensive of sanitary radiation, sanitation, justification, standardization, and optimization. Basic principle. Basic principle of radiation protection and safety on which the standards are based are those developed by the International Commission on Radiolog Radiological Protection and by International Nuclear Safety Adversary Group. The practice must be justified. Protection and safety should be optimized. Individual doses from all relevant practice should not exceed specific dose limits. Basic safety standard purpose is to establish basic requirements for protection against the risk associated with exposure to ionizing radiation and for the safety of radiation source that may deliver such exposure. The standard law down basic precepts and indicate the different aspects that should be covered by an effective radiation protection program. The standards are on to serve as a practical guide for public authorities and services, employers and workers, specific radiation protection body, enterprises and safety and health communities. Thanks for attention.